Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you, Bank Holiday Monday, 18th of Feb. It's Monday here. Both the UK and the US are out, so we won't be trading. Uh, just wanted to give you an overall what's going on in case you are trading and talk about Friday. We got stopped out of everything. Uh, we pushed a fair few chips into the middle there Thursday night, risk off. Short Euro Yen, short Aussie Yen, short Kiwi Yen, short Kiwi, and short ES. We basically risked all of our profits on Thursday for a big move on Friday. Uh, we obviously did not get what we wanted, uh, and that sucked, but it's part of the business, part of life. Uh, the two day deal is a scratch, and now we just move forward and look for the next idea to make money on. So far this week, uh, we got Euro showing dollar weakness. We have cable opened up showing dollar weakness. The, the real high was 129.50 uh, approximately last night at the open. Dollar Swiss showing dollar weakness down through 10040. Watching very closely for a close below parity in dollar Swiss. And if that happens, that means everyone who is hedging their dollars here in Switzerland have won. Uh, for them not to win, we kind of need to get th through this 101 level, but dollar weakness all around today. Um, not exactly sure why. Some negative media flow around the U.S. government. The <laughs> There's some squawking about Hawaii and China. But I, I, I don't know why there's dollar weakness today. It could be just also everything was massively extended. Um, but we're seeing dollar weakness creep in, and we have a market that's at least the short-term market, and some medium-term players, but mostly just short-term guys, are long dollars. So let's take a closer look at this when we get better liquidity. But certainly we're starting out with dollar weakness start the week. Take a quick look at this ES because we're interested in it. Almost 27.80. The next key area of course as we talked about all last week is this 28.10 sort of 28.10 level. So let's call it figure 20, 28 figure 20. If this is going to turn this somewhere in this area is the likely turn. We can't touch it now. We got burned pretty badly on Friday, so we're just going to leave it. Obviously, bank holiday, but we will be watching this 28.10 level. Let's say that's the midpoint, 28.15. Anywhere up around here, if we get a reason to sell, if the story comes in, if the technical setup looks bearish, um, we will go ahead and whack it again in a risk managed way and, and see what happens. So keep an eye on this. 28 sort of figure 30 area is the next stop. Kiwi through the roof, nothing to do there for us now. We got stopped and it's a good dollar rand. Come back down a little bit with this risk on. We just touched this trend line here, so now it's a three pointer. This is a pretty good setup here. Uh, 1430. But we need uh, the conditions to change. So we need things to go risk off and the dollar to go bid. Currently, it, the dollar is offered and we are in risk on. So you could probably sell this today and, and then watch this sort of dribble down back towards uh, 1387. Anyway, we're not trading today. I don't suggest anyone trades today. Uh, when the whole market's taking off, you might as well enjoy it and take the day off as well. With that, I'll let you guys go, and I will see you tomorrow. Ciao.